everyone. Welcome back to Fernandez Treasures. Today we're going to be making this delicious um, banana cake with a cream cheese filling. And then it's going to be topped with whipped cream and um, the vanilla wafers um, on top. So let's get started. Uh, these are the ingredients that you're going to need. So for the cake, you're going to need one super moist, uh, the yellow cake box mix. Any brand is fine. You're going to need three fourths of a tablespoon of baking soda. So this is the baking soda. One teaspoon of baking powder. There's a difference between the baking soda and the baking powder, okay? So you need both. And then you need three overripe bananas. And you're, you're going to mash these up. So you need three, and they have to be overripe bananas. And three-fourths of a cup of water. So I have some water right here. One-fourth of a cup of oil. I have canola oil. You can use vegetable oil, any kind of oil that you have. And then um, three eggs. So I have my three eggs here. And now for the topping, we're going to need one 5.1 ounce uh, box of the uh, Jello pudding. You can choose the banana pudding or you can choose vanilla pudding, whichever one you want. Two cups of milk. I'm going to bring the milk out when I'm ready for it. Um, you're going to need one cup of crash, uh, cr crashed, not crashed, crushed vanilla wafers so my kids already got into it there should be a cup in there in there hopefully um we need three more bananas right so you're gonna need a, need a total of six bananas um and those are just so you can slice them and so that you can um put them over because this is going to be the topping that we're going to put on top of the cake once it's ready you're going to need two cups of whipping cream um so i have the heavy whipping cream right here I'm gonna make the whipped cream topping. A half a cup of the powdered sugar. This is the powdered sugar right here. Half a teaspoon of vanilla, and here's the vanilla here. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna mash the bananas. So you're gonna take three of your bananas and you're gonna put them in a bowl. There's one. Right now. And with the fork, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mash them up. The fork was kind of uncomfortable, so I'm going to use my bean smasher. Oh, yeah, much better. I've had this one for years, and it's the only one I like for my beans. So the consistency of your bananas should be like this, all mushy, all mushed up. Now you're going to add your three eggs. One, two, and your cake mix. So what you're going to do is you're going to mix your eggs very well into the banana mixture. Like that. So see, your bananas and your eggs should look like this. Kind of like a gooey mixture. Now we're going to add our cake mix. We're going to add the one tablespoon of baking powder. That's the baking powder. And for the baking soda, I know I said three fourths. I'm copying this recipe from a Facebook recipe that I saw, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a one tablespoon. It's not a tablespoon, actually, it's a teaspoon. One teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna do the one fourth of a cup of oil. And we're gonna mix this very well with the hand mixer. Guys, I forgot to add the water, so I'm gonna add half of a cup of water. 
You saw me add a half a cup earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a third of a cup. So I'm adding the water slowly because I don't wanna um, get um, the consistency to be too liquidy. So I'm just gonna add a third of At a cup. At the beginning now. of this recipe, you will need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So you need a nine by 13 pan, butter. You're gonna grease your pan so that that way the cake won't stick. Make sure you get the corners. And guys, I'm not a baker. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm more of a cook. Like I can cook anything uh, Mexican food, but when it comes to baking, I'm not a baker. So this is my first time trying this cake and I'm sharing it with you guys because my family and I, we love banana cream pie. And when I saw this recipe on Facebook, you know how somebody shared this recipe on Facebook when I saw it? Actually, Elena, I think Elena shared it. Shout out to Elena for sharing this recipe because we're trying it out and we're gonna let you guys know if it works. And you know, when you're at work and you see these recipes, they make you hungry. But we have the um, cake mix here. So we're gonna put it in. There you go. So we're gonna put it in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes or until you stick a toothpick in there and it comes out clean in the middle wrap now we're gonna make the um the pudding the banana pudding and two cups of milk we're going to whisk this here is my cake, it's all ready and set, and you know that it's ready, well done in the middle when you poke it, and whatever um, you use to poke the middle with comes out clean. It took me around uh, 40 minutes to 45 minutes for this to be well done. Um, it, it, it looked well done on the outside, but the middle still kept being soft, so I left it in there for around 40 to um, 45 minutes. It's kind of like a poke cake. You have to find something to poke the cake with so that when you add the pudding on top, the pudding can be inside of the cake. So um, I couldn't find anything. I don't know. I don't want the holes too small and I don't want them too big. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the end of this, um, the handle of this um, uh, kitchen utensil and I'm just going to poke holes in it like this. You don't want them too close together and you don't want it poke it all over. You just want, I mean, you just want to make holes here and there to make sure that pudding goes all through the cake. And it already smells really good, guys. There we go. So we poked holes in there. Okay, guys, now that we have holes in our cake, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pudding, our banana pudding, and we are going to scoop it up and we're gonna spread it in all on top of the cake like this. And you just make sure that it goes into all the holes. So this cake is gonna have layers of flavor in it. The pudding, and then we're still gonna make the, um, the frosting to frost um, the top. So what you're gonna do now is while you're making the frosting, you're gonna put this in the fridge because you want it to cool off a little bit, which the cake is already cool. You make sure that when you put this, um, when you put the pudding on the cake, make sure that your cake is completely cooled off. It cannot be warm at all or else it's gonna melt your pudding. So make sure that you leave it at least an hour or even more if you have to, if you can, just to make sure that it's cooled off before you add your pudding on the top. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put this one in the fridge and I'm gonna um, show you guys how I make the whipped topping that goes on the top. And we're almost done guys, so hang in there. Okay guys, so now to make the whipped topping, you're gonna use heavy whipping cream and you are going to use two cups of this. So 
once your whipped cream is stiff you're gonna add your half a cup of sugar, powdered sugar I already added it in there and I added half a cup you can start off with a little bit if you don't like it that sweet I'm just doing um, a half a cup there and I'm doing one tablespoon of vanilla okay guys and once you blend it in your sugar um, your, your powdered sugar and your vanilla I whipped it up a little bit longer I'm gonna add two ounces of cream cheese because I want my topping um, to have a little bit of cream cheese flavor and these are the ones that I got and you're gonna crush them up so to crush them up what I did is I put them in a sandwich bag like this in a ziplock bag and I'm just going to give them a quick crush I don't want them too powdered I just want them um, crushed a little so that I can sprinkle them on top of the cake and so now that the cake um, you've already added your pudding on there now we're gonna assemble it and this is the last portion before we get to eat it and try it out so now we're gonna add our whipped cream. And just the whipped cream alone is gonna make it taste so much better because you made the fresh whipped cream at home. Once you do it at home, I'm telling you, I have a Tres Leches uh, recipe with this whipped cream and it's a boxed cake. I'm gonna be probably recording that soon too, and it's so good. And just the whipped topping, this homemade whipped topping, it just makes all the difference. Make sure you get every corner, make sure you get it all around evenly. The two cups of whip of heavy whipping cream just barely made enough, guys. So if you want a little more or to have it a little thicker, you might wanna go with either two and a half or three cups. And you can probably make it thicker. Here are my sliced bananas. I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it with my sliced bananas, guys. I'm gonna just put them all over. I think this is like two bananas or two and a half, one and a half. And I think that's perfect. If you want more, I mean, you could add more in there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle the cookie crumbles on top. And I left the pieces kind of big because my kids love these cookies and I know they're gonna love and enjoy the bigger chunks. Okay guys, so that is it. That's the banana. I don't even know what you call it, a banana a poke, a banana, I don't even know what you call it, a banana cake with banana and um, the vanilla wafers. There we go, guys. Look at that. Look how delicious that looks. We'll be right back with the taste test, which is the best part. Put it on the plate so I can show the inside. The whipped cream is bomb. And there it is, guys. Look at that. Fire. Taste the whole thing. You only tasted the bread. Banana cream pie. Mm -hmm. Taste tester number one gives it a thumbs up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. This is the moment of truth. He's picky with desserts, so let's see what he thinks about this um, banana cream cake. I'm not sure about me being the taste tester. Uh, I'm trying to lose weight here, but it's so hard one day. <laughs> Bake and cook, good every day. Here we go, oh, no, it's too big. Get, uh, get everything in there, the whipped cream, a little piece of banana, some of the cookie, everything, so you can here taste it. Here we go. Really? You're not lying? I'm not lying. I swear this is bomb. Hell of a bomb. Make the whole thing. Mmm. It's perfect. It's moist. Got the layer of uh, whipped cream, banana, the, the sliced pudding. bananas, There's pudding, and uh, vanilla wafers. Wafers? Cookies? Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is mine, Jojo. I really like banana. And I'm not, I don't like banana cake. So good? Hella good. Fire. Fire.